After the latest Fortnite update guys, especially with low meshes, I tried to figure out which game running mode actually gives you the least amount of input delay, especially in combination with the Nvidia low latency mode which is built into the Nvidia control panel. So therefore guys, if you want to know how to get the least amount of input delay, stay tuned and watch the whole entire video and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. And as you guys might know, just a couple of days ago, Epic Games finally brought back mobile builds into Fortnite Chapter 3, which is a huge advantage in my opinion, guys, because I really appreciate the visuals and how like less details these builds actually have. And then I compared it, of course, with DirectX 1250 Reflex Boost Mode set to on and DLSS enabled on performance, because that was previously like the best mode for the least amount of input delay in Chapter 3. And I, of course, as mentioned, now compared it with the performance mode. And on DirectX 1250 Reflex Boost Mode and everything enabled for literally max performance, I had an average of 9 to 13 milliseconds of input delay. This is definitely not too bad guys and I gotta say it's still better than DirectX 11 or previous performance mode. But now I actually compared it with the performance mode, with the ultra low latency mode enabled in the Nvidia control panel additionally and low meshes turned on. So therefore guys this is literally like the lowest you can go with the quality here in Fortnite and I gotta say the results are shocking. I had only 6 to 10 milliseconds of input delay which means on average I got 3 to 5 milliseconds of input latency less which is crazy guys this is gonna make such a big difference especially in like super laggy end games or if you're playing like a dual cash cup tournaments overall you know and you're an end game this can make a huge change guys and trust me so many fortnite pro players were wishing for performance mode to come back here with the mobile builds and epic games finally listened to the majority of players and i gotta say i'm super super glad because me personally as well i'm like super used to them and it was such a big difference to play with like medium to high meshes because yeah it just looked different you know it just looked more overall like DirectX 11 or 12 and if you're just used to mobile builds for a year straight up you can definitely feel the difference and it was just overall really awkward so therefore guys I'm super super happy and I can 100% confirm that again mobile builds guys with the ultra low latency feature enabled in your Nvidia control panel will provide you with the least amount of input delay in Fortnite chapter 3 and if you guys want any more benchmarks just let me know down in the comment section below I can of course still also compare it one more time here with DirectX 11 but it was overall just super super hard to actually make this comparison so therefore I hope that I can help you out guys with that and yeah if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below I try to answer as many as possible and yeah please make sure to check out my latest videos from yesterday guys I just updated my game user settings with some secret features enabled which came with the latest updates so therefore please make sure to also check that one out and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome I'm out peace Dami Gucci Lee come take a die. Kill that shit, but this don't kill the vibe. Yeah, we the ones they talking about.